What's up everyone? Shane here with ROA Off-Road. Romer X, look at this. I think we've been cooking up some pretty exciting things here at ROA. It's been a couple of years in the works, but we have been working with some manufacturers on bringing some pretty exciting stuff to the marketplace. This is an ROA off-road, high altitude collaboration in building this trailer. The thing that we're really excited about and what makes this camper unique from other campers is we've wanted to focus on three things while building this trailer. And those three things are seamlessness, simplicity, and comfort. Number one, it is a seamless one piece composite mold, the entire body. What that means is there are no seams in this trailer. Now, if you were to ask me for a new trailer owner, what are the things to look for when you're looking at trailers? The number one fear I would say is leaks, water intrusion and water damage, because that can take a brand new camper and it can turn into a nightmare, it can destroy the entire trailer and to the point of non-repair. It becomes a nightmare. With a seamless one-piece mold, that's impossible. And this is what's super important is because as we've been working out, reaching out to manufacturers and talking to them about collaborating to build and bring to market some of the best trailers, we have had certain things that we really, really wanted to focus on. And this is one of them. There's only a few trailer manufacturers in the whole world that do this type of construction. Bruder is one of them, Kimberly, Zone RV, those are all out of Australia in the United States. You can get into the Olivers, the Casitas, or the Bigfoots, those are two molds sandwiched together, but those are all on-road or campground type of RVs. This is an off-road camper. And that seamless design is gonna give you peace of mind and take away the fear, take away the headache of having to check the seals, maintain the seals on a regular basis. It's a one piece composite mold. The next thing, if you were to ask me, what do I need to expect when buying a camper? There's a lot of education that goes into owning a new trailer. As a matter of fact, we joke around that you almost need a degree for trailer ownership. The complexities of new trailer ownership is, is astonishing. Sometimes it's frustrating because people come to ROA, we buy the trailers and I feel like we do such an incredible delivery system and we educate them, we teach them about battery voltages and you know what's charging rates versus what's dead, where's the danger zone. We teach them about water systems and how to fill and how to dump and there's all of these weird complexities. And so here at ROA, as we've talked with High Altitude, we've talked about how can we make it simple and we've done it. Troller systems, the battery management system, it's one of the easiest systems to use on in the marketplace. It literally tells you how many days or hours you have left. Now, another thing is like simple complexities of like running your air conditioning. People think like that should be simple. You just go in and turn it on like a regular house. Well, are you plugged in? Is it on shore power? Does it work off grid? Does it work without shore power? What is shore power? Do I need 120 volts or is it 12 volt? Oh, it needs a generator. Well, what type of generator do I need to get? There are so many little details that if you don't have somebody teaching you, educating you, it, it gets kind of overwhelming. This unit, you walk in, you press the button and the AC turns on. Whether you're off grid, whether you're on grid, you just turn it on and you turn it off the same way you would your house. What type of generator do you need? Well, get any generator you want. The only reason why you plug in a generator in here is 
to charge the batteries. And when you plug it in, it just automatically starts charging them. And you'll know when to charge it because your system will tell you you have five more hours until you're dead. Can you turn on your generator? Simple, right? This is what we've been focusing on so much is simplicity. And the last thing that we really wanted to focus on was comfort. And comfort, well, things from like the electric stabilizer jacks in the back to the electric jack in the front to the electric awning with a wind sensor. So if it does get windy, it will automatically retract to the, the inside. The ceilings are very tall. If you're six, five, you're gonna have no problem in this camper. Also, the beds. They're true queen size beds. The booth is massive. Four adults, large adults, comfortably. You could probably put five to six adults in there, squeeze them in there, but four adults, two queen size beds in this off-road trailer with ceilings that you can actually stretch out. You can actually stretch your arms and not almost hit the ceiling, right? Because they are high ceilings. Comfort, we've used the Cruise Master suspension. And this also plays into simplicity for leveling side to side. Very, very simple to do, but it also creates a comfort in driving. The way it tows is incredible. So this is what we've done here at ROA with the guys over in Colorado, high altitude trailers. We've created a seamless, simplistic, comfortable trailer. And that's really important. And I'm surprised in how that's not truly something that's out in the marketplace. And we're super excited to bring this to market. We're super excited to share it with you. If you have any questions, you wanna know more about it, make some comments below. You can contact us at 801-860-0035. Shoot us a text or give us a call or go visit our website at roaoffroad.com. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.